Hey guys, so finally after about 7 months I have a new Sony Xperia phone to unbox for his channel and this time it is the Xperia X so this is the first Xperia X phone in Sony's new lineup uh, some of the other phones are the XA, the XA Ultra, the X Performance so I'll just give you guys a look at the outside of the box first nice touch there with the Xperia logo Pretty minimal box. Really ha doesn't have a lot going on, unlike other Sony box arts. Alright. Some information down at the bottom, uh, which I'll get to once I start unboxing it. Alright, so again, pretty simple box. And this color, it's a first for the channel. I know a lot of you guys get sick of seeing all the gold, or rather all the black versions, so I went ahead and got a gold. All right. Alright, so right on top we have the Lime Gold version. Pretty nice looking, we'll get to that in a second. And I'm guessing this is instruction manual. And startup guide. All right. And then the micro USB wall adapter. Oh, and worth noting, so I imported the dual SIM international version. Uh, some of you guys may have this power outlet, some of you don't, such as in the United States, we have a different type. So it's worth pointing that out. I have plenty of those, so I don't really mind. And some headphones. Good that Sony includes those because some of the major uh, phone manufacturers have stopped including them. And then some additional earbuds. And then the micro USB cord. Alright guys, let's have a look at the phone. Yeah, it's a nice gold color there. Let's go ahead and see if it can power on. So the Xperia X, for those of you who don't know, it's pretty similar to the flagship Xperia X Performance, uh, but it does have a Snapdragon 650 instead of a Snapdragon 820, so that's one big difference. Uh, it doesn't have waterproofing, but other than that, a lot of the specs on here are flagship quality. So let's run down some of those. It has 3 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this version I have is 64 gigabytes internal storage. Uh, it does have micro SD card support up to 200 gigabytes if you can find one that large. A 2620 mAh capacity battery. 5 inch 1080p screen display. Uh, the rear facing camera is 23 megapixels. Definitely excited to test that out. And then the front facing is 13. I'm going to go ahead and skip all this for now. So this is running uh, Android Marshmallow. No quick charge 3.0 unfortunately. It does have 2.0 though. And as you can see it also has a fingerprint scanner. Let's put it in a pin for now.
So I know that some of the reviewers have mentioned the uh, overheating issue. Now this is an actual retail unit. I bought this with my own money. Uh, so I'm going to go in and see if there's any differences between this and the review copies that you guys have probably already seen on YouTube. Not too optimistic, but we'll see. Hoping that the uh, heat problem isn't as bad as some people are claiming. All right, so a lot to go through here. Uh, looks like we're done. So again, this is Marshmallow for those of you guys who haven't seen that yet. And let's just do a quick side-by-side. -side. We'll do it versus the Z5. I'm recording this video right now on the Z5 Compact, by the way. So you guys have those camera comparisons to look forward to. All right, so here's just a quick look at the home screen. You see micro USB port at the bottom in both of them. Then you still do have that camera button, volume rocker, fingerprint scanner, headphone jack at the top. And then SIM card, micro SD card right there. So yeah, very similar in design to the Z5. Alright guys, so I'm definitely excited to be testing this out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it all tonight. Uh, if you guys have any video requests, anything in particular you want to see, please let me know. And thanks for watching.